Henry, well, one way to beat the heat, I'm doing it right now. I got my portable fan. It is hot outside. I want you to take a look behind me. It says it's 95 degrees, and as you said, it feels like 100. So what does that mean? It means that heat-related illnesses are increasing during this time of month, but the good thing is there are ways to prevent getting heat exhaustion and heat stroke. If you're a Nashvillian, you know the summers can be brutal. So I'm pretty used to the heat and humidity. But with temperatures this hot, precautions are a must. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. Any others? Stay in the shade. One of the easiest ways to stay safe in this heat is by drinking water and staying hydrated. Mine's in my little pocket. We're all ready to go <laughs> on our hot double-decker bus tour. Dehydration causes the heart to work harder, putting the heart at risk. Hydration helps the heart more easily pump blood through the blood vessels to the muscles, and it helps the muscles work efficiently. You know, July and, and the dog days of summer in August, uh, we see an influx of heat-related uh, medical situations. Dr. Daniel Munoz says if you feel lightheaded or nauseous, stop exercising and cool down in the shade. Those early signs can very quickly progress to very dangerous situations where blood pressure drops, people can lose consciousness, and then fundamentally the body can lose its ability to regulate normal temperature and get truly overheated, which can present an immediate danger. If you notice someone who has been in the heat for a long time, who isn't alert, confused, or can't respond, don't hesitate to call 911. That could be a sign they're having a heat stroke. Another great tip that we were given is to avoid going out during the hours of noon to 3 p.m. because that's when the sun is at its strongest. We're live in Nashville. Cena Slim, News Channel 5.